What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back! It is episode 2 of Let's Play WWE 2K17, my career. I have to get used to saying 2K17 now, after saying 2K16 so, so long. And, uh, I did manage to get my proper shirt decal here, and the proper shoes decal, uh, going on there. So, to do that, basically you go into character here, you can go into appearance and you can re-import your appearance and that will fix that stuff. I think uh, what's interesting is they don't give you the moveset you had. You get a different like NXT whatever moveset and you have to buy moves. That's the craziest part. So by default there are a bunch of moves you will not have access to. You go into the custom move thing here and down to the bottom purchase moveset. These all cost VC and as you can see here, I only have, you know, so much, I spent a bunch of it to get these standing grapple moves. But here's the thing, they don't tell you what moves are in each pack. There's just, hey, here's a pack of moves. A grade moves, B grade moves. And so, yeah, I've got a bunch of different moves here that I gotta buy at some point, and uh, I don't have them just yet. So not only are you using VC to buy moves, you obviously also have the abilities and skills and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of crazy that everything costs VC and it all ties into every single system including unlocking characters in the main game. Like everything is VC and I don't know uh, at what rate you earn VC in this game but I'm sure there will be plenty of time to get into that over the course of this my career. I am overall 66 right now. Uh, I am ranked fifth for some reason in the tag team division. Uh, and as you can see here, we got Am uh, we got the New Day as the champs, Ambrose Reigns, Primetime Players, Wyatt's, Dudley's, myself and Jaden Jet, Usos, Lucha Dragons, Bob Villains, Enzo and Cass, and the Wyatt family. That's a definitely an uh, uh, interesting mix there. Let's see who else is champion here. Nakamura's champ, The Revival's champ, Rusev's champ, Miz's champ, and then Seth Rollins, your World Heavyweight Champion. Obviously, there aren't two belts because this game was made, or this game was designed back before they had the two belts and the belt on SmackDown and whatever else. Anyway, they got us up against Randy Orton. Randall Keith Orton, the Viper himself. There is no way I'm going to be able to beat Randy Orton in my first match on Raw. This is just not going to happen. So, here we go. Show opener promo, my face. Styles and Slater. Middle card promo, my match, middle card promo, one on one. Is that me or is that somebody else? Like, I'm not really sure. You know what? I'm just gonna go back to the first thing here and I'm gonna hit accept. So they had a video package there about how moving up from NXT to main roster. And it was funny because it's like, moving up to the main roster does not guarantee success. As they were saying that, it was totally they showed the ascension. Which is really good. Really good. Yeah, they flopped pretty hard, didn't they? Anyway, here we are. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, doing the whole crowd pan of the pyro and everything. That is, oh, in East Rutherford, New Jersey, right in my backyard. What used to be the Continental Airlines Arena, uh, the Meadowlands, which is no longer having events. It's done. Alright, all those little promo boxes are gone now, and we can obviously simulate these matches. There's no option to actually watch it, it just, just simulates. So we're going to simulate this match. Obviously, he, uh, AJ Styles wins that match. And then we're gonna, uh, I guess, hit accept and hit the X button and fight Randy Orton. And here I am backstage. What's up, Dolph? How you doing? What's up, Mark Henry? Hey, Vince. And uh, possibly Joey Mercury or Jamie Noble. Or, tri or Triple H. I can't tell from the back of the head. Probably Triple H. This is gonna be a shit show. I can't wait. Let's, let's hope it doesn't crash today. So I do have the internet plugged in right now, and that means I'm hoping it does not crash today. Obviously, being here on YouTube making videos uh, precludes me from including the music in this, but I will turn off the entrances after this one time. You will get this one entrance uh, for myself here, and then I will turn off the entrances just to have it on video here once. Uh, but using the music, not a good idea. N not a good idea. Anyway, there I am. I got the shirt decal. I got the altered boot decal, and everything else pretty much stayed the same. It was all, all the right colors and textures and whatnot, so at least that all carried over when you hit the import button, so I appreciate that. But orange and black, that's my shit. 
let's do this. Waiting for my opponent, Randy Orton, who is coming out here to squash me like the jobber I am. Like the James Ellsworth I am here on Monday Night Raw. This is not going to be good for me. I can. It's going to be RKO. You done. You done, kid. Thanks for coming back to NXT. Have a nice day. Like, no one's going to go right from the Performance Center directly onto your main roster show for a match against Randy Orton. That's just unheard of. All right, panning through the crowd. Got their two sweet signs. Just too sweet. All right, Randy. Let's go. Let's attempt to beat Randy Orton here, which is going to be uh, not happening. But hey, I'm going to put up a good fight. And, but then it'll be a good night. He's already at 13% for his, yeah. It's gonna go real well. Anyway, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Thursday. This week is a fucking blur. It's seriously. This week is a complete and total blur. Uh, I don't remember the last two days at all, but I got a bunch of work done, so... And it does not stop because my PSVR should be here today at some point from UPS, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, he's doing his, he's doing his stomp taunts. That's not good. Um, so yeah, it's only gonna get, uh, more busy this week. Uh, although I do, I, I'm planning on putting up a video where I'm, I mess around with a ladder match. Oh, Fez Press! Uh, at some point today, so I guess look forward to that. Uh, but there should, there should be, or I can almost guarantee there will be a PSVR unboxing here on this channel today. Um, and mess around with that stuff and then, you know, kind of start playing through that demo disc that comes with 18 demos on it. And Randy Orton just... I'm pretty sure I, I hit R2 there. There we go. Every jobber gets a little bit of offense here. Oh, Thez Press again. Randy Orton having none of it. Having none of it. He's going to that place in his head. Hearing those voices. Shit. There we go. Anyway, there there is news today. And uh, I do discuss news here on this show during the matches. Because, you know, there's usually not, not, not too much else going on to discuss. Because the matches are... Are the matches. Uh, biggest story right now is that Hideo Itami is injured again. He just came back. There was a botched power slam at an NXT house show and apparently uh, his head or his neck or something is not not good. I thought Randy got to his uh, to, to 200% there. There it is. I don't know what, 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 what the hell happened. No, Randy. You must hit the RKO. Out of nowhere. So yeah, it's a shame now because we're not going to have Itami and Ibushi uh, as a tag team on the Cruiserweight, uh, the, uh, not the Cruiserweight, the Dusty Rhodes classic. Um, screw you, Randy Orton. I kicked out. I kicked out. Ah, uh, yeah, this is going to be a shit show. Um, yeah, so that's a damn shame that he, he just came back and is hurt again because some green as grass dude couldn't do a fucking power slam, which is a shame. I mean, obviously... Accidents happen in the ring, but that is just a damn shame. Uh, so, that has been not a great run for him so far. He, sh he should have been main roster already, and all he ever had was that one spot in the Andre Battle Royal uh, a while back. And that was it. He's been in NXT. Like, that, that dude was huge in Japan, and he's, you know, in front of crowds of, like, you know, a hundred. You know, it's not fair. It's not fair. Anyway... Yeah, so I have to actually spend the points to unlock the top rope uh, maneuvers, so I'm not there yet. I will hopefully earn some points from these matches. Not even a one count. Randy Orton's having none of it. Having none of it. He's fighting back. Woo! Feel the bang. I want to get my finisher at least before Randy Orton just punts me into oblivion here. Poop position. Keep on kicking you, Randy. Keep on kicking you and hitting you with the sentons. See, that was a sad senton. Hurt, hurt my, hurt, hurt, hurt the back here. All right, signature, slug exploder, slug exploder, charge finisher. All right. So, unfortunately, unlike here comes the pain and shut your mouth. The cross backbreaker, not in this game. And instead, we have a torture rack bomb, which kind of has a bit of a spin to it. So, I will call that the Salt Shaker 2.0. Much like Nikki Bella is using the Rack Attack 2.0. That is the Salt Shaker 2.0. There's no way I was getting that pin at Randy Orton. Come on now. He has now taken my, my best... Whoa, but... 
my best maneuvers there and uh, managed to survive because, you know, he's a top talent and I'm rated 66. So, let the Hurricaranas continue. I don't know. I will continue to... Whoop. Miss. Ah, shit. Into the corner. Didn't get the reversal. I'm not sure if the timing is different this year or tighter, looser. It's hard to tell. Top rope, holy shit. It, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't even let me. I was... Oh, shit. There we go. It wouldn't even let... That's hilarious. It wouldn't let me. I was there, and the game's like, no, you don't have a top rope... You don't have a top rope maneuver, so fuck, fuck the fuck off. That's really good. Attention to detail, I appreciate that. Logically, it makes no, makes no fucking sense. But there is definitely neck breaker. Attention to detail. Play to the crowd. In other news, James Bygod Ellsworth, speaking of Ellsworth, will get a world title opportunity against AJ Styles on SmackDown next week. That's awesome. The modern day Gilberg. It's great. Um, so best of luck to Ellsworth on Raw or on SmackDown against AJ. I don't think he'll have the uh, luxury of Dean Ambrose as the ref again. because, uh, you know, they already did that once. But anything could happen in the WWE. Anything could happen. The only thing I'm not like I wish Jim Ross was still calling Whoa! That was nice was still calling uh, matches because the amount of gravity that Jim Ross offers to any slug exploder situation uh, and just makes it feel more epic. Um, I, I think he could have truly made the Ellsworth stuff feel that much more epic. Not that I have anything against Morrow. I think Morrow is, you know, very talented if he, you know, I mean, he, he does kind of, um, he does kind of, uh, kind of get his pop culture stuff in there pretty constantly. Again, with the Salt Shaker 2.0. Spin him around. Woo! Oh, I, I forgot I, I, left, I, I forgot I left on the replays. Totally forgot. Pinfall! He's gonna pin Randy Orton, the 12-time world champion, in his first match on Raw. Holy shit, I did it! Wow. Now that is a historic win for the attack slug. All that training, all that time travel, and here comes the pain, and in uh, Shut Your Mouth, paid off as I managed to defeat Randy Orton here uh, in my debut match on the main roster. That's crazy. There's that RKO. Didn't quite happen for you, Randy. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I definitely gotta turn off the replays. I like them, but there's way more editing for me in post to deal with that shit. There I am, four-star match, first night on the main roster, having only fought uh, Jaden Jett and Samoa Joe in, like, those... Break out, break out! That's right, Randy, we aren't done here. This is ruthless aggression. You make an impact on your first night. You make an impact on your first night. Slug Sploder! He's not done yet, folks. He's not done yet. One more. One more. Salt Shaker 2.0. There you go, Randy. There you have it. Attack Slug is that dude. Poop position. Amazing. 4.0. Match score, trophy earned. Welcome to the main roster. Am I just going to skip it? NXT here completely? I didn't even look at the authority challenges. I didn't even know authority challenges were still in the game. Uh, Alright, sorry Triple H, I've failed you. And then we got Baron Corbin versus the Axeman. Simulate. Uh, one on two, Enzo versus Darren Young and Kevin Owens, what? Do I, do I have, seriously have to hit things for all these, or can I just hit accept? Yeah, just, just hit accept. And that brings us to SmackDown. Obviously this is before the brand split, so perhaps I'm working both Raw and SmackDown, and uh, that'll be tomorrow. I don't want to go too long here, I have more videos to do. I got that PSVR unboxing, and I have to do the uh, la ladder match later on, so tune in for those. Uh, I am unfavorable. I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, that's it.
pretty good first showing on the main roster, skipped NXT entirely. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax lug. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.